what's going on guys back at it uh it's friday night october 9th uh it's about 8 45 70 degrees and quite a bit of wind tonight 10 to 15 mile per hour wind pretty breezy but uh, we're gonna get out here tonight get after it plan to hit a few spots tonight rather than just one hoping to throw a few in the bed of this truck and uh you guys tag along let's see what happens let's go Here we are on the first stand. This one doesn't take real long to develop. I have a good feeling that these two coyotes were up feeding near this drainage, way out of the picture, probably close to 1,200 yards away. I didn't get them running all the way in on video, but after I hit some rabbit distress, they started working their way towards me. All it took was a little more volume and this one turned and started running right towards me. I put the thermal scanner away and switched to the rifle scope. The wind was coming from my south pretty hard, which is to my right in this frame. And I knew before too long this coyote was going to intersect my wind, which would give me a good chance to stop it. but it actually stops on its own for me. The other one keeps closing the distance but remains out in the middle of the field feeding on probably mice. I just keep the same call going and turn up the volume just a little bit more and it slowly but surely makes its way to me. <laughs> Here the coyote notices what might be a free meal, but it runs up on the animal and it's actually a skunk. And then it starts to close the distance towards me. Yeah. <laughs> 
these things always amaze me how tough they are. You'll see the bullet location here in just a little bit, and this thing fought hard for a few seconds. Two down. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, man. Just called in uh, two of them there across this huge open field. Pretty windy, so I wasn't sure. Uh, if I was going to be able to call them in from over there, I didn't get all the run-in part on film. I forgot to hit record. Uh, my bad on that. But anyway, man, called those two in. The one took forever to come in after I killed that first one, as you can see there. But <laughs> that was awesome. What a way to start the night. This is set number one. Let's go uh, recover these, take a look and see what we got down, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, let's go take a look and see what we've got up here. <laughs> That was pretty awesome. Oh, here's one right here. Little pup from this year. Little male, little male pup. All right, let's go find this other one. Wasn't very far behind the first one at all. Oh, it's got a pretty coat on it already. Another pup. Man, I put a heck of a shot on that thing and it still fought. Look at that shot. Put it right in the boiler maker and still fought and ran just a little ways. These things are tough. Little female there. Awesome. Hell yeah. Two for two. Get these pulled back to the truck and keep on going. sure are stinky all right two for two first set let's head to the second let's roll this is an extremely long hay field right here down at the very far end i catch a glimpse of some heat signatures and come to find out i realize that it's just deer feeding i go through my full call cycle sequence run some rabbit distress some woodpecker uh, some blue robin and then always in my stands on pup distress. And about the 30 minute mark, of playing pup distress for only two or three minutes, these hard chargers came right towards me. Uh, that's the second double of the night and that second one I kind of rushed that shot but I heard it crashing heard it crashing through the woods over here so I'm gonna try to get over here the first one's down he dead right there um, but the second one's right inside the wood line I hope I heard it crashing through there what a rush <laughs> man. 
I'm fired up. Um, this is the fourth set of the night, the second and the thirds. Didn't see a thing, didn't hear anything. Uh, this is the fourth set, so double on that first set, and then I hope a double right here. Rush that shot. I'm kind of anxious to see where I hit it at. Review the footage, but <laughs> man, what a night. Can't beat this, guys. Let's go check it out, see where they're at. All right, let's go check these out. Here's the first one. Male, probably uh, maybe a second year. Yeah, at least a second year. Not bad. He's looking right at me, weren't he? Just to put it, put it right in the chest. looking Kai out there. All right, let's go try to find this other one. So it was ran over here and it stopped. It's going to be super hard to see. I'm going to turn the thermal on and try to find it that way. Be right back. Three on the night so far. Guess I'll try and do one more set, see how it goes. Hate it that I hit that one and couldn't find it. I searched for probably 20. 25 minutes or so. Uh, yeah, never like doing that, but it's part of it. Show it all here and uh, got these three so far. So we'll get to the next spot. Probably just one more for the night. It's 12:30 right now, and uh, let's hop in. See how it goes. All right, guys, that's it for tonight. I uh, was able to get these three in the back of the truck. As you've seen, I did hit that fourth one. Uh, anxious to get inside, probably tomorrow. It's almost two o'clock now. Probably tomorrow I'll review that footage, see where I hit that fourth one at. Uh, definitely made contact, I heard it hit, uh, but it did get away. I found a little bit of blood in the wood line, but um, searched for probably 20 minutes or so and never did find it, but that's part of it. I don't hide anything here on the channel. I've been hunting for a long time and still make mistakes, but uh, just got a little antsy and I didn't have my lever locked down, I know for sure, on my ball head, and I just rushed the shot, simple as that. So my mistake on that, always hate to injure an animal and not find it, but uh, that does happen, unfortunately, from time to time. So I was able to help out some local landowners tonight, had a lot of fun, and hopefully you guys like this video. Uh, it's still not even quite coyote season yet, uh, today's the 10th. Coyote season comes in October 15th. Hopefully continue to keep putting the hurting on them and uh, bringing you guys some good footage. Appreciate you guys being along for the ride. As always, happy hunting. Be safe. See you next time.